Welcome back. In the previous part, we had this character turn up at the end and said, um, no idea who she is. Seems to be something to do with bees, though, from the looks of it. Uh, all right. I'm so sorry. It was not my intention to startle you. Wait, aren't you... This girl... Looks like the one in that torn painting inside of the palace. Um... Oh, I'm sorry. You scared me. I must apologize for approaching you like this. My name is Lily Hopes. Lily Hopes? What? I recognize her. Lily was an NPC that I created to serve as a guide for new players. I don't remember her wearing this outfit in her original design, though. Do the bugs have something to do with this? Wait a sec. She has a buggy just like I do. You call it a buggy. Uh, oh, I'm Sheena. Sheena Ninomiya. Might you be the princess of this kingdom? Huh? Yes. As you said, I am Hardis's princess. Currently, however, I am one of its most wanted criminals as well. Criminal? I was locked behind bars in a cavernous cell, charged and imprisoned for assassinating the queen. Now that she mentions it, I remember writing this dialogue for her backstory. I somewhat regret being responsible for the struggle she's faced. But in reality, you're as kind as a gentle ray of sunshine. A stern, selfless woman who is beloved by all, whom I know would never do such a thing. What? Oh, um, I'm not from this kingdom, but that's what I've heard about you, Princess Lily. Please, Lily will do just fine. Understood. Lily it is. I can't help but express some relief to hear that. It has been some time since anyone has referred to me as a gentle ray of sunshine. Um, wait, correct me if I'm wrong, but were you just escaping from the palace? Uh, oh, yes. Why do you ask? That's what I was doing, too. Well, great minds think alike. Did you see my father? The King of Hardis? I wish to know what became of the king and everyone inside the palace. Please, tell me everything you know. Um, things aren't well in there. After all the cruelty she's faced from her sentence, she still expresses concern about the king and his warriors. From what I have gathered, the king has been amassing guards in order to counter the growing threat of deranged martyrs around the kingdom. However, many of those who flock to heed the king's call never return to tell the tale. I have tried fruitlessly to enter the palace to see it for myself, but entering as a fugitive is close to impossible. I humbly beg of you, tell me what you saw inside of the palace. What became of the king and the men in his command? I'm afraid you won't like what I have to say, Lily. Devil may care, I must know. Okay. I wandered into the palace because I heard that the kingdom was in need of guards. Much to my dismay, I called out in search of an attendant and received no response. Right from the get-go, things seemed abnormal. That's one way to put it. The king! Was he safe? Um. I, um, saw the king in his throne room, but... He was shrouded behind a curtain, so I didn't get a good look at him. I can say for certain that something about his demeanor felt off. In what way? His mind was slipping. The king was all wiry, and all of his soldiers seemed to follow. Before launching into an aggressive pursuit, the king and his men screamed absolute nonsense at me. <gasps> I think it was the bug. I mean, it must have been the curse that drove him to madness. Curse? You must be speaking about the Entoma! Uh, how could this be? Is no one safe in this cruel world? Mishina, since you had responded to the call to serve as one of our kingdom's guards, I have a favor to ask of you. Oh no no, I'm out. I've changed my mind completely at this point. As princess of this kingdom, my responsibility is to free my people from their suffering. This turmoil can no longer stand. First, I must see what has become of the palace myself. Mishina, is there any way that I could convince you to accompany me? Uh, sure. I know that it is a lot to ask for, but- Huh? Wait, did you say you would? Well, bravery means doing the right thing at the right time. 
So just leave it to Sheena the Adventurer. Oh, thank you. I can only imagine how worried you must be after being separated from the king for so long. The king is probably experiencing a lot of grief as well. So let's hurry, Lily. Okay. Are we actually going to get like a menu structure or anything in this? That's, that's the thing I have at this point. Like a world map, so I can choose where to go. No. What the? The entrance is sealed. There might be another entrance around the back, right this way. Ah, they don't call you princess for nothing. Let's head to the throne room. Hurry. Okay. Huh? Say, aren't you Sheena? What a coincidence to run into you here. Yes, isn't it just? Oh, Rook, uh, what are you doing here? Man, if I had known you were heading this way, then we could have traveled here together. Don't be so shy next time. <laughs> Alas, it was not in the cards. Huh? When we had our first encounter, I was actually en route to another kingdom. But... Between you and me, there are plenty of rooks throughout this world. Wait, what? Plenty of rooks? What do you mean by that? Chess? You see, originally, there was just me. Ever since this thing latched onto me, however, the most outlandish thing has been happening. Right. You got signs of the curse on your arm, too, Rook. When I became possessed by this... whatever it is, I've somehow been... multiplied. Multiplied? There are multiple versions of me scattered across this world. Remarkably bizarre, if I do say so myself. Luckily, I retain control of each and every version of me, a singular consciousness at the helm of multiple bodies. Frankly, I see it as a blessing from the Lord. What better way to expand my business than with multiple merchants that I can trust? Um, does having multiple versions of yourself ever get to you, though? I would be lying if I said it doesn't, but compared to... How others have been affected by the curse, I have no room to complain. Yeah. Oh, seems like Lenny is really confused. That, that guy had mentioned before that multiple versions of Rook were appearing as a result of these bugs. Book is producing multiple copies of him. Precisely. Ah! Where did this bear come from? The lines of code enabling Rook to fast travel between locations has been corrupted. Instead of teleporting him, the game simply makes a copy. Oh. Um, I, 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 Mr. Enigma? You can't just appear out of the blue and scare us like that. Look how you've startled Lily. Who cares? I have no time to worry about every time someone get, someone else gets upset. Jeez. Has a new customer come to browse my wares? Oh, I'm Enigma the bear. Don't worry. I'm not a threat, uh, right, Sheena? Oh, right, he's a friend of mine. She has a talking bear as a friend. Apologies if I scared you. Please don't mind me. Continue on with your conversation. He's so cute. Um, Sheena, might I make a suggestion? A suggestion? Yes, as compensation for you having saved one version of me from a pack of vicious monsters, I would like to offer you my services. Would you do me the honor? Wow, of course. Why did it fade out and in? On your map, I've marked a symbol showing where each of my cloned selves is. They are safe zones where martyrs rarely appear. You are free to make camp at these locations at your gesture. Gesture? Where did I get that word from? Leisure. I will also give you a signal. Gesture? So that you can summon me at any time. I shall stock my wares frequently to cover any of your needs on and off of the battlefield. So be sure to check back with me often. Got it. Thanks a bunch, Rook. No need to thank me. I should be thanking you for the increased business. <laughs> um, Rook? Yes, my lady. Oh, please, just Lily is fine. I'm in no position to answer by my royal title. But, please. Very well, Lily. How may, uh, how might I be of service to you? Do you... Do you happen to sell anything that I could use as a weapon? A weapon, you may ask? Please don't tell me you are thinking about entering the fray. These are dangerous times, my lady. My heart has already decided. 
Even if it means putting myself in harm's way, I must show bravery. I do not plan on sitting idly by while Miss Sheena risks her life for me. Lily. Hmm. And how about this? It is an elegant weapon from a simpler time. They call it a light saber. One that would keep you at a safe distance while offering a means to protect yourself. My, what a gorgeous bow. Can't believe how light it feels in my hands. Seems it's like it's a light bow, not a light saber. Light bow. Many thanks. I would be honored to use this. How much for it? Oh, please, I couldn't bear to accept money from the princess herself. Take it, I insist. Now, I must pay my dues to honest merchants like yourself. As a member of the royal family, I cannot rest on the graces and deeds of good people. In fact, I refuse to do so. What was that? I see, your reputation precedes you, my lady. You are wise beyond your years. Then if I may, accept my gift at a lower rate than what my customers usually receive. Consider it a gesture of faith to the crown. Oh my, is that what my subjects refer to as a discount? Indeed, a token of goodwill for you and your journey, my lady. How wonderful. I cannot thank you enough. Hopefully this will do. Jeez, how much did she give him? Oh, sorry, have I acted out of turn? I thought this might be an acceptable response for your generosity. I apologize, the rituals and customs amongst town folk are somewhat foreign to me. Oh, not at all, I am only humbled that you would show such kindness to a lowly merchant like me. Now, everyone, please travel safely. Hopefully our next meeting is sooner rather than later. I shall await your signal. What a gift is... What, what a gift it is to be in... What, 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 what? What a gift it is to be a dozen places at once. Needs the word in in there. Miss Sheena, I hope that I hadn't stepped on your toes when I expressed my interest in fighting alongside you. However, as the Princess of Hartis, it is my right, by birth, to act in the best interests of my people. <laughs> Thanks, Lily. But if we're backed into a corner or surrounded by monsters, then try not to act too rashly, okay? Uh, okay, understood. Um, are you sure I can fight with you, though? I thought for sure that you would refuse me. I'd never do that. The more the merrier. Oh, and please, call me Sheena. First names will do just fine for the both of us. Okay then, um, Sheena? Lily. You're making me blush. <laughs> now our friendship is official. Friendship? Ahem. Mind if I chime in now? I hope I'm not interrupting your lovey-dovey display. Lovey-dovey? Just be a bit more careful, okay, Sheena? Huh? Uh, Mr. Enigma? Don't give yourself away. I can hear you inside my head. I'm using a private voice chat, so that the others can't hear me talking to you. You can speak using this chat too. Just picture my Enigma avatar in your head, then communicate with me directly. Give it a shot. Like this? Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Whoa, pretty convenient. Anyway, as I'm sure you've seen by now, Lily's got a little... Toma bug, just like you do. Yes, actually, hers was bouncing on my knee just now. Seems fully sentient. On a side note, those spider legs attached to your thigh are a bug too, right? Oh, you mean these dangly things? Yes, I um, realized right away that the dangly legs were a sign that something was off in the game. Uh, Sheena, would you mind not saying dangly so much? Hmm? Something the matter? For my sake, please. Okay... Anyway, we can leave the legs alone for now. It doesn't seem like there are any of us... Well, any of the others can see the bug fluttering right in front of them. Considering how much it moves, you'd think that Lily would have said something by now. Has she brought it up to you before? Maybe she's just unsure of what it is. It's a matter of his own, after all. I bet she's just afraid of talking about it. Maybe not. Doesn't she look amused by it? Maybe. We wouldn't laugh. It's so cute. We can't say for certain, though, can we? No one else is looking at it. We shouldn't beat around the bush. Let's ask her directly. Right. Still, it's a strange... It's a strange... Yep. It's strange that no one else is reacting. Lily joined. 
I'm still waiting to see if we get some kind of like world map of some sort so we can select places to go. It's we're quite quite a, we're quite quite a few hours into the game now. It's just like it's strange. Hey, Lily, can you see this little bug? Don't tell me that you could see it too. Yes, actually, yeah, I've been able to see it this whole time. I can see it too. Sheena has one that's similar, albeit purple instead of yellow. What a relief. I no longer have to pretend like it doesn't exist. Oh, sorry. It seems that mine has taken to you, Sheena. Hey, come back. This bug, as you call it, had suddenly appeared on my body. First as a weird bump, but over time it developed a mind of its own. I assume that it is a physical manifestation of the Entoma itself. Oh, could you tell me a bit more about it? About how it began acting on its own accord? It was then that I had been falsely accused of imp and imprisoned for assassinating the Queen. My guards were own my only line to the outside world. So much reading in this. It's, it, it gets to the point where it gets tiring. I was informed that scores of innocent people were mysteriously dying as a result of the Entoma Scourge. And many others disappeared. Oh, I recognize that term. The merchant from earlier mentioned the same thing to me. He said something about people disappearing like smoke. Yes, personally, I believe those missing were abducted. Some kind of dark, evil magic. From what I was told, there are a handful of survivors from the event, but they live in constant fear of the Entoma and the Martyrs. No matter how madly I had wanted to understand the plight of those who were affected, there was little that I could actually do. Eventually, the kiss of the Entoma took the form of a painful bruise. I believe that I, too, would soon succumb to this deadly curse. Just as I accepted my fate, this one popped out. When I first met you, Sheena, you can imagine the surprise on my face when I noticed that you were carrying around an Entoma just like me. Hmm, I wouldn't call it carrying around so much as it tends to follow me wherever I go. Huh? Are they playing with one another? Well, by the looks of things, it seems like they're sniffing each other out. Maybe they recognize each other as friends. <laughs> the way one circles around the other looks like they're having fun. How precious. Don't get too attached. At the end of the day, they're still connected to the Entoma. It is important to note that the common thread in how the two of these Entoma bugs appeared, which seems to be periods of extreme stress, I find it likely that there might be others who have entomer bugs that behave just as these two do. Lenny, do you happen to know anyone else who possesses anything like these two? I don't. Ever since my escape, I've been doing my best to keep a low profile, so I haven't had much contact with anyone besides you two. Now that you mention it, Lenny, you said that you were locked up in a heavily guarded prison, right? How were you able to escape? Well... The chaos sown by the Entoma Scourge diverted the attention of the Kingdom's authorities to other, more pressing matters. So after enough time had passed, one of the prison guards let me escape out of pity. Once I had gotten out, I took to wandering through a nearby town and saw others who bore the mark of the Entoma on them. Unfortunately, however, they were unable to control the Entoma and were subsequently devoured without a chance to get away. Sheena's Entoma tried to eat her oh, when it first activated, too. Which means it has the ability to eat people whole, whether or not it breaks from their host. It's like a carnivorous virus. Lily, thank you so much for sharing that with us. I'm sorry if I'm reminding you of what must have been a difficult, painful memory. It's fine. These are desperate times. Each of us needs all the help we can get. Sharing our stories means being able to join in the on the, on the fight. I consider myself quite fortunate to have met the two of you. Pikiki! Baku! Baku. I know. We'll call them buggies. What? Mr. Bear, let's call these things buggies from now on. And Tomer isn't cute at all. Baku? <laughs> it's kind of like a baby. Right? You okay with that, Mr. Bear? I don't care. But are they worth giving a nickname to? I understand that they're dangerous beings, but 
if we have to coexist with them anyways, you might as well find them cute. Do as you please. As long as you know they're dangerous, I'm good. Anyways, your naming sense hasn't changed one bit. Thank you. Uh, that wasn't a compliment. Giggle. Seriously, are we going to get any kind of menu or world map? Anything at this point. There's too much story at this point now. Alright. Yeah. Remember Lily's original design? Remember her hair being far more primped and blonde, a style befitting a queen? Oh yeah. Hmm. I don't remember the details for every single NPC we've made. Lily's current design is cute, but the fact that she's changed so much throws me off. Do you think this has something to do with the bugs? Probably. Maybe the asset from her character model got shifted or something? I should ask Lydia, our character designer. So, Lily's an escaped convict and has joined our party. Far cry from her original plotline, huh? Well, obviously. Regularities throughout all the world's Odyssey, like you and the Interma, are to be expected by now. Given that the bugs have changed everything from new monsters to producing clones of Rook, strange NPC behavior seems almost tame. Regularities. Would you mind not referring to me as some line of code? What I meant was, you wanted to mention how peculiar it is that Rook and Lily are exhibiting changes that are aligned with their... What? With their original programming, right? Although they are NPCs, you must remember that the Alice engine is powering the core of their decision, making progress. Progress? Process. This AI is like magic. Somehow, they are able to make split-second decisions, thinking and reacting in a way indistinguishable from humans. To some degree, they're human... They're as human as you or me. Seriously, it's too much reading at this point. Yeah, judging from how they describe their thought patterns, this AI is scarily complex. I must admit, the implications frighten me. Can we have a world map or something yet? Seriously? What's going on here? We should have been able to reach the throne room through this hallway. The pathway seems to have been sealed off. Let's find another way. Releasing direct control. Right, special support skills. When your buggy is present, there is a 50% chance to trigger a support skin in battle. Additionally, when the amount of field bugs falls below 50%, you can press the touchpad to summon Arata. Okay. It's like... Yeah, that's an out. Where does it go out to? It's now loading, but I want to see... Do I get a world map? Or is it just a simple... You have to go from point A to point B? Because so, this is what I wanted. I want to... Like, oh, R2 to reality. The arms of the clock were pointed to 6.45 a.m. The sky was turning white from dawn, and I could see a beam of sunlight peeking through the curtains. Agle Incorporate had ordered an immediate halt on development of the VR MMORPG World's Odyssey, which meant that its servers were deactivated. But I discovered that Sheena, the game's director who had been missing for over a year, was stuck inside of it. I immediately called Sumika... Yeah. Hello, this is... her. Yep, it's me. I found her. Sheena, the girl who went missing. I finally found her. Sorry, I can't come to the phone at the moment, but please leave a message after the beep. It's me. Yep, I discovered Sheena's whereabouts. Call me as soon as you hear this message. Phew. Oh, I should show Lydia the update character model for Lily to see if any of her NPCs had the same alterations made. Tails, huh? She looks more like a... A what? Harajuku? Girl than a princess. I remember Lily's original design. I remember her hair being far more primped and blonde, a style befitting a queen. Yeah, huh? Well, I don't remember the details for every single NPC we've made. Lily's current design is cute, but the fact that she's changed so much throws me off. Do you think she has something to do with the bugs? Probably. Maybe the assets for her character model got shifted or something. Yeah, we know we said this. I should ask Lydia, our character designer. I should give Lydia a call, too. Sure, I hope she's still awake. How weird, it went straight to voicemail. 
Maybe I should try calling again. Huh? Nadia, is that you? The number you are trying to reach is busy, or is in the location with poor reception. Damn her, she probably slept in because we've got the day off today. Bet you anything she spent all night binging some anime, then deciding to use the rest of the day recovering. I should just send her a screenshot over a text message. If she's in charge of character design, then she'll know if any of her characters have changes similar to Lily's. I opened the window, and the fresh morning air came drifting in, cleansing the room. Mm, I'm beat. I take solace in that she's alive and safe, but I won't rest until we know where her body is. Sheena, where could you be? Ugh. Alright, real world. Here you can view Arata's inventory, skills, and whatever information you gathered. Trigger events by speaking to people in order to obtain useful information. When you have gathered enough info, the distortion blocking Sheena's path will disappear, allowing you to progress further. Oh. Okay, that's cool in a way, isn't it? Oh, we actually have stuff going on in the real world then. So, episode chart. So, chart. You have reached verification access to what? Okay. Episodes that have been unlocked can be viewed here. Only you have access to this console. Okay, so what's missing there? Is that, are they coloured by chapter? Ah, chapter one. Okay, so... A while ago, haven't we? How many chapters is there? Eleven chapters. Okay, that's cool. Recent conversations are key item. Let's have a look here. Nothing on the key items. Ooh. How do I use these, though? Do I just have them generally? I assume so. No talk there. Let's have a look on the map, then, because we have an, a point over here we could go to. A small but well-known game development company. 7.30, huh? When was the last time I came into work this early? I can't get a hold of either Sumika or Lydia. Neither of them have responded to my text, and the SMS isn't showing them as read. I didn't feel like going back to sleep, so I found myself heading back to the office. Today was supposed to be my day off, but I don't really mind coming in. Every other department has team members who come to the office on their off days, passing from cubicle to cubicle to say hello. Either they must be lonely, or the office is more of a home than their actual home. If I had to guess, it's because the atmosphere here reminds people of a college club or something. It must be nice. Oh well, we still have company. Hopefully Sumika and the rest of the team are already in. Huh? What's going on? Not to brag, but Enigma is located in a wealthy financial district amongst a smattering of, of tall high-rises looming over Tokyo. Our company only has a, has a staff of 30 people. And yet, we've got a fancy building right besides my stop at the train station. Our CEO is a wizard programmer who made his fortune in the gaming industry before founding Enigma. He played it smart by choosing not to have our company expand too quickly, opting instead to invest in a great work environment for his staff. His philosophy is best summed up as an elite environment for the elite team. I've got no room to complain about it. It's an ideal commute, and there's even a giant shopping mall nearby. It's nice to see our company logo on one of the swankiest buildings in the town when I enter. Today, however, my normal commute was interrupted by the sight of what appeared to be news reporters and cameras. Uh, did I miss something? Uh, hello, sir. Uh, do you work here? A flurry of microphones were aimed towards me by reporters followed by their eager cameramen as I found myself suddenly surrounded. Uh, what's the meaning of this? You work for Enigma, right, sir? Uh, can you spare a minute to tell us if the recent crisis is in any way related to your company? Huh? Japan's financial stock exchange has been totally shut down, which has sent ripples across stock exchanges around the world. Hmm. Can you explain what this image might mean? Uh, hold on, wait just a second. It's true, yes, I work for Enigma, but I don't know what kind of crisis you're talking about. So, so you do work here? Does your company accept the responsibility for the financial crisis? Maybe there are hackers in your very own department. Uh, hang on. It's Tokiwa. <sighs> she 
she sure picked a perfect time to turn her phone back on. Hello? Arita, what the hell did you do? Not you two. What do you mean what I did? Breaking news. We just got an update on the mysterious cyber attack that has put financial institutions worldwide in total meltdown since this morning. Earlier, several PC and cell phone users began reporting abnormal malfunctions on their devices. Many users reported having opened an email from an anonymous source that unleashed a vicious strain of malware. Nearly all PC users report total system shutdown, but the true extent of the malware's effects has yet to be uncovered. Businesses throughout all of Japan have been temporarily closed as a result of the total computer, vehicle, and market failures. The hell is going on with this game? This is... It's like when it's like, oh, well, it's all right, we're getting a grip on things now. Oh, no, financial crisis. What? I'm watching on a big telly screen as the breaking news echoed grandly over my bewildering head. I couldn't believe it. That something was able to monopolize the operating system of every digital device on Earth was baffling. What was most terrifying about it, however, was that it seemed totally random. The news reporter was quick to blame this attack on some hacker, but I wondered why the reporters were at our doorstep. What could it all mean? Just as I thought, to shrug it off as nothing, I formed a double take on what I saw on the screen. Our only lead as to who might be responsible for this scandal is a mysterious image that displays when the virus infects any device. A connection has been made between this mysterious image and an online game that was cancelled nearly two years ago. Local authorities have stated that they are conducting an investigation into who might be responsible for spreading this illegal malware. Only time will tell if the software company, to whom this mysterious image is attributed, is responsible for this devastating outbreak. More. I need more. Do you? What? Huh? Made no sense. The image displaying on the featured victim's hacked devices was clearly... The login screen for World's Odyssey. What the What's going on? Hello? Where are you right now? Did you see the news report? Just watched it. Whatever you do, don't set foot anywhere near the office. It's surrounded. Yeah, about that. <sighs> Too late. Now I'm surrounded. Why did you go there? Anyways, isn't the mysterious image the login screen for World's Odyssey? Agle's news app is blowing up with coverage right now. They're reporting that Enigma might be involved. What? That can't be! Who'd be stupid enough to use company property to hack the National Stock Exchange? True. But we can't deny our affiliation if they're using company assets. The proof is in the pudding! Pudding! I wouldn't be surprised if there's a search warrant out for us. You need to get the hell out of there this instant. But... I, I didn't do anything wrong. Why do I have to run? It's a national holiday. There's a chance that you could be arrested before any law office in the country will take your case. If they force a statement out of you, it could spell the end for our entire company. Do you want that on your hands? <sighs> hey, who you got on the other line there? Uh, no one. I, 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 bye. Uh, are you not grasping the severity of this scandal? It could result in a total economic meltdown. Uh, uh, hey! Jeez, shut up. This bastard's just trying to rile me up. Journalists, I tell you. Uh, I just got word that one of our reporters has gotten in contact with a supposed employee of this company. So we'll report back very soon. Hurry up and get out of there. I'll call you again later. Got it. Oh, hey, hey, wait. Just a minute. Please, sir. We need a statement from you. Government leaders worldwide are expressing extreme and unanimous discontent towards the culprit of this cyber attack. Our country has no tolerance for criminals who resort to cyber terrorism. Whoever they are will be charged to the fullest extent. I urge the responsible parties to heed my warning. We will find you, and you will be imprisoned. Turn yourselves in. <sighs> what was going on? This all had to be one big nightmare, right? I added the sentiment to myself as I ran away aimlessly. Each breath I took was more pain than the last, like the crescendo of a bell ringing in the pit of my stomach. I felt panic and sweat drip from every pore of my body, and my head spun from terror. It only took three hours for the cyber attack to 
affect devices worldwide from midnight until 3 a.m. Who or what was capable of attacking electronic devices of this kind of a global scale? Normally firewalls are strong enough to protect data entry for any normal PC or cell phone. Hacking every PC and cellular device simultaneously would be impossible unless you were a mad genius. Oh, in coma. But... Even as my lungs struggled to draw breath, I had sprinted as far away from the reporters as my legs would take me. A series of questions swirled in my anxious mind until I finally managed to find my way home. Hello, this is... Yep. Sorry, I can't come to the phone at the moment, but please leave a message at the beep. Damn it. I can never get a hold of you. I'm not going to get a hold of anyone else. God damn it, what's going on? Because the login screen for World's Odyssey was plastered on every screen of... on account of a global cyber attack, internet forums began connecting the dots and determined that Enigma was at fault, wasting no time to bash our company at every opportunity. To make matters worse, Agil's new division made sure to deflect the blame from themselves and blasted it towards us in the broadcasts. For a second I was sure that our CEO would know how to pivot from this controversy, but his hands were understandably tied at the moment. He always mentioned how his dream was to make the world a better place with our games. What can I do? I don't know. Jeez, what is going on? Anyway, we're going to end this part here and in the next part we'll go back to World's Odyssey. We'll see you then. What the hell?